To really understand why Regenix is very different, let's take a look at one of our procedures. What you're about to see your orthopedic surgeon can't do, the guy down the street that does a little bit of ultrasound can't do. So let's take a look at this advanced, precise, guided work. So Cole is a young athlete and has a meniscus tear. In addition to treating the meniscus, we also want to treat the MCL, which is the ligament that supports the meniscus. We also treated his patella tendons because they had defects from his prior surgery history of using the patella tendons for an ACL reconstruction. And we're going to treat the hamstring tendon because they also use the hamstring for a second ACL reconstruction. So we want to treat this whole knee as a functional unit. Make sure we just don't focus on just the meniscus but everything else that's contributing to the pain or dysfunction. So we're going to start off a little nerve block. There's our needle coming in from the right. This nerve block. Yeah. This time, since we're injecting closer, we're going to put the cells. We're going to use rapivacaine, which we know is not toxic to stem cells. We cannot use marcaine or, or lidocaine at all. Injecting the coronary ligament and the MCL right around it. We're redirect to get the, the higher up part of that. The MCL. So now we're using fluoroscopy. We're going to guide this injection directly on top of the meniscus. It's going to be a little less tissue trauma with this approach and get it directly into the joint where he has the problem. We're going to numb up first. Alright, so we're guiding our needle onto this area here. This would be our medial joint space where the medial meniscus will lie and this is where we're going to be guiding our needle. Picture. Picture. Get a little bit more towards the inner half. So we see our needle heading right towards our target. Just want everything to be perfect. We're avoiding hitting the bone where the cartilage is not to cause any cartilage damage. Yeah, so we're injecting contrast to see if it flows along this medial or inside part of the knee right on top of the meniscus where our target is. We're going to verify that it looks that way in another view as well. Sure. This meniscus is extruded out, so it's a little bit to the outside, so I targeted my needle there. We can see contrast directly where the meniscus is, uh, the outside portion, as well as it flowing along the inside portion. I have my bone marrow concentrate. I have platelets that we made from the bone marrow, and I have adipose tissue graft. It may have a few stem cells in it, but it does have other factors that can contribute to repair and provide some structural support as well. All right. well, that's beautiful. So we have a nice filling of the entire meniscus parts, so medial to lateral. Now we're going to inject the patella tendon. Going in, you'll just see the point right there in the middle of that meniscus. So we're trying to fill in that tissue to make that patella tendon strong. And you see that tissue filled in nicely. Yeah. Filling in that gap. That looks pretty. That looks really nice. 